This tech tip will show you how to log into your SPNN account and make an online reservation. First, you want to go to the SPNN website and go up to the top right corner where it says Log In. This will take you to a page where you can enter your SPNN username and your password. But if you've forgotten your password, you can request a new password by clicking Request New Password. This will take you to a page where you can enter in the username or email address affiliated with your SPNN account. And so after you've entered this in, you can go check that email address and you should have received an email from SPNN with a link to a page where if you click it, it will take you to another page on the SPNN website that allows you to log in once to your account and change your password. Now after you've picked a good password, you'll need to enter it in twice, just to make sure that you entered what you meant to enter. After you've done this, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. You can now use the password you just chose to log into your SPNN account to make and check reservations. And now we can go over the process of making a reservation. So after you've logged in, you can go up to the top right corner of the SPNN page and click My Profile. Then you'll want to click Add Reservation. So first you'll want to select any of the items you want to reserve. So for example, we're going to reserve an HD video camera, an on-camera LED light, and a clip-on mic. Next you'll want to select the reservation date. So this is the date you're going to pick it up and the date you're going to return it. And you'll also have to include the time. So make sure that when you choose the time, you choose a time that SPNN is open, or else it'll give you an error when you try to save your reservation. So after you've entered all the information, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. This will bring you back to SPNN's main page. If you want to check on your reservations, go to the top, click My Profile, and then click on My Upcoming Reservations. You can see here that that last one is the one that we just made.